Hi guys, this is just a quick video showing you how to beat Steven from Pokemon Emerald with a single Lotad. The reason I did this challenge is because my dry bread, a famous YouTuber, failed this challenge with a Lotad and a C dot. So I just wanted to show how powerful a Pokemon can become if you EV train them properly. I didn't make this video to criticize my dry bread, so please don't give him any negative comments or anything. If anything, you should watch his channel, he has some great Pokemon videos. Here's a look at Lotad's base stats if you haven't seen my dry bread's video. They're shocking, as you can see. Here's my Lotad, I caught him on level 99, and he has a jolly nature, which was lucky. I actually just used the first Lotad I caught. The reason it was level 99 when I caught it was because I used an action replay code so that I could get a low tad to level 99 as quick as possible. And I chose level 99 because if it was level 100, you couldn't EV train it properly. Alright, so here's a look at my low tad stats. I mainly invested in low tad special attack and defense so that it could survive those 100% accurate aerial aces and I invested in special attack so it could two shot most of the Pokemon. Also I put just enough speed into the Lotad so it could outspeed some of Steven's Pokemon which makes a big difference in this challenge. I chose Leftovers as the held item because Lotad has Rain Dish which recovers Lotad's health in the rain which means when I set up a Rain Dance Lotad will recover its health twice. Lotad's moves are Blizzard, Rain Dance, Surf and Giga Drain because Lotad's frail and I'm going to need all the healing I can get. Okay, here's the battle. Skarmory uses Sparks, I use Surf. Skarmory Aero Aces, reducing my health by half, and I knock it out with another Surf. I outspeed Armaldo due to my speed EVs, and one shot it with Surf. Next is Playdoll, which doesn't do much, so I can use Giga Drain set up my rain dances and heal to full health before I take on the Metagross. So right here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to stall out Claydol so that its light screen fades away and I can do enough damage to the Metagross to beat it. And also I need to set my rain, da uh, my rain dance again so that it lasts as long as possible against the remaining Pokemon. Alright, so Claydol uses Earthquake, I set up my Rain Dance again, Claydol doesn't set up another light screen so I can knock it out with Giga Drain, I practically heal to full health with Leftovers, Rain Dish and Giga Drain healing. Metagross hits me hard with Psychic, I do a lot of damage with Surf. Metagross hits me with another Psychic, I just hold on, I knock it out with Surf. Next is Agron, it uses Solar Beam, which means if I use Giga Drain I could have healed off of it three times before it attacked because Solar Beam with Rain Dance up takes four turns. But anyway, I knock it out in one shot with Surf. Last is the Cradley, I missed my first Blizzard. It uses Ingrain to slowly heal itself during the battle. I hit it with Blizzard doing massive damage. It hits me with Giga Drain, almost knocking me out, and then I finish it off with a final blizzard. And that's Steven. One of the main reasons I invested in the speed EVs was to outspeed the Cradley, which didn't make a difference in this run, but it could have made a difference in my other attempts. Anyway, that took me about half an hour in attempts. If you liked this video, please watch my other Pokemon challenges. Thanks for watching.